ZBrush is a very powerful and unique environment that incorporates both 2.5D and 3D information. Now in this video I don't want you to worry about all the buttons that I'm pushing. Often in each video I'll take the time to explain all these things, but for this video I just want you to understand and get familiar with the concept of 2.5D versus 3D. When I start up ZBrush by default I'll have a sphere. This sphere is automatically in a 3D state so I can sculpt on it, rotate it, and move it around in 3D. If I click this button up here that says edit, I'm going to drop this sphere to a canvas and I'm automatically working in now a 2.5D mode. That's because I have edit turned off. So I'm going to teach you your first keyboard shortcut now. That's control N to clear the canvas. When your items are in this 2.5D state, you can use control N to clear everything. So I'll do that now, control N. In my tool palette, you notice that we have a mixture of 3D objects and 2.5D tools. Again, don't worry too much about what I'm selecting here. I just want you to focus on understanding the differences between these two states. Right now I'm going to click on the simple brush. Then I can paint inside my canvas. And what I'm doing is painting pixels. Now, at first this might look flat, but the more that I paint, you'll see that I'm building up depth here. You can see the shadowing information, and it's kind of like laying clay down on a piece of glass. We're building it up. If I hold down the Alt key, I can carve into this surface. I can't rotate this surface because we're in 2.5D. If I were to select more 3D objects, I could draw those into this 2.5D surface, switch back to my simple brush, and then continue scribbling pixels down onto the surface. Let's go ahead and clear our canvas again. Again, we'll do that by holding Control and pressing the letter N. So let's find a 3D object here in our tool palette. Draw that into our canvas. And if I were to click and continue drawing, what I'm going to be doing is just drawing more cubes into the canvas here. But what I want to do is go back into this edit mode, this state of 3D, not 2.5D. So this is simple. I'll hold Control N to clear the canvas, draw one cube, and simply press edit. Now you can see this edit button is the key to moving in and out of this 2.5D and 3D mode. Because I have edit enabled, I can start rotating this cube again. If I push edit again, I'm going to drop this cube to canvas and now I'm back in a 2.5D state. So if you were to work on an object, let's say this sphere, and do a little bit of sculpting, and then drop this to canvas, you've now removed it from a 3D state. And the way that I drop this to canvas without pressing the edit button up here is with the keyboard shortcut, the letter T. You can see that as I hover over the edit button. So now that my little sculpted head here is sitting in 2.5D mode, and it's the current active tool here in the tool palette, I can draw more of them. The last one I draw, I can actually put back into this 3D state. So I'll click edit. I continue sculpting, but I can't actually edit these other ones in a 3D state anymore. You can actually only work on one 3D tool at a time. So I want to clear my canvas. Again, I'll click Edit, Control N to clear, draw this 3D head back into the canvas, and I want to continue sculpting, working on it in the 3D state. Again, simply press the Edit button. So that was a lot of information in this video, and we will clearly define the differences between 2.5D and 3D as we move forward in other videos. But again, for this video, I didn't want you to worry about all the buttons that I was pushing and getting overwhelmed by what I was doing in the UI. I just want you to simply understand that there are two very different and very powerful states inside ZBrush, a 2.5D state and a 3D state. And as you move forward with the tutorials, you'll fully understand these two states, how to use them, and how they're very powerful.
So now that you've learned a little bit about the two different states, 2.5D and 3D that are available to you here inside ZBrush, I'd like to demonstrate how you can rotate, scale, and move an object in the two different states. They're slightly different in how you perform the tasks for both. So right now we have a 3D object in our canvas. I know this object is 3D because I can simply click on the empty area in the canvas and rotate it. You can also see that this edit button, just as I explained in the last video, is enabled. So to rotate this object, I sim simply click inside an empty area of the canvas, and I can rotate it pretty much in any direction. If I hold down the Alt key and click in this empty area, you can see that I can move this 3D object up, down, left, and right, and I can track it around the canvas. While I'm doing this, if I let go of the Alt key, you'll notice that I start scaling the object up and down. Also take note that over here on the UI we have a few buttons. Move, Scale, and Rotate. I'm going to drop this 3D object into a 2.5D mode so I can clear it from the canvas. Again, I'll press Edit up here in the top of the UI, and then I'll hit Control n to clear this. I'm going to switch over to the Simple Brush here in our tool palette. I'm just going to lay down a stroke of pixels. Now if I were to simply click in this empty area here, I wouldn't be able to rotate this stroke that I just did. I'd actually add in another stroke. But you can actually rotate, scale, and move 2.5D information as well. And we do this next to the Edit button. We have a Move, Scale, and Rotate. So if I click Move, you'll see that we get this gyro, which will allow me to move the last stroke on the canvas around can rotate this. And scale it. After I'm done moving, rotating, and scaling this stroke, if I want to lay down another stroke, I'm going to have to click on Draw. Now that I have Draw enabled and my Simple Brush active, I can paint in another stroke. I can then click Move and move this 2.5D stroke around my canvas. So moving back into a 3D object, I'll simply hit Control N to clear my canvas. I'll click on Draw so that I don't have my gyro enabled. Control N to clear that stroke. And then I'm going to go back into my tool palette and find the demo head that I was working with. Now that that's been selected, I can simply click and drag inside the canvas. Right now it's drawn in in a 2.5D state. And I'll click Edit so that I can start rotating this, moving this, and scaling this again in a 3D state. 